Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for joining me today here on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and clicking on this video with your continued support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now today, I'm out here in Grand Island, Nebraska visiting Eagle Crest Homes and we're gonna take a tour of this awesome modular home right in front of us with its front elevation, huge windows, and an eight foot deck. This home is known as the Bella Vista Glenwood Excel, built by Bonavilla. Now this home is a three bed, two bath, and it sits at 1,771 square feet. That square footage does not include the eight feet of decking. The dimensions of this home is a 56 by 30, and the cost of this home is $288,000. Well, let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? What did you guys think about all those windows outside? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And walking in, I mean, look at that big, gorgeous window leading up to the vaulted ceiling where your ceiling fan is. That is absolutely gorgeous. And for a uh, front elevated home, the walk-in right here is rather nice. A lot of times they're kind of funky when you walk into these homes like this, but this one, this one has some graduose to it. I am liking and actually loving what I'm seeing. I mean, this entertainment center over here where your electric fireplace is um, with a nice mantle for your TV, that is absolutely gorgeous. And the ample room that you have in this living room is a Astounding. Just to let you know the size of this living room, the size of this living room is 23 feet 2 inches by 14 feet. And I mean, that is huge already um, comparing to the size of this whole this whole home, really. And like I said, look at that entertainment center. You have plenty of cupboards, four floating uh, shelves, plenty of storage, plenty of space for your, your peripherals, your, your, you know, game systems, whatever you have to be, to be on your shelves right there. It's a perfect spot for it. And I mean, again, those windows, loving it. I mean, you open those up and just imagine how bright your home could be. You know, it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, walking over here, taking a look at this uh, morning room or the dining room, you know, the size of this one is eight feet, six inches by 14 feet for a dining room. And that actually, again, that is a nicely sized uh, dining room. Now, of course, it's open floor plan, so you can't really see that size differential, but it's there. It's nice. It's cool. And I mean, take a look at this island. This island is rather nice. Um, it comes with that nice big farmhouse sink and the style and design of the uh, island top is nice. I love that bevel design there. It, it comes with storage on both sides of the island and seating for at least like two or three. And then over here, of course, you see the uh, subway tile going across the entire wall. Um, it's open for your stove. It's open for your, you know, your microwave or your range hood, whatever you're deciding on. Um, and again, the, uh, the the quality construction of the countertops of the drawers. It's rather nice. I like the style and design of the countertops. Um, it's it goes along with the entire color motif of this kitchen, which it's really cool. It's really nice flooring this is um, nice flooring I'm not sure exactly what type of flooring it is and then this home right here has a lot of different uh, features that you can choose from here's one of them which is the walk-through pantry um, this has a sink here it's like a wet bar sink or you could even call it a veggie sink it's a little big for a veggie sink but you know you could do that there you have plenty of storage here adjustable shelving for what you need in here and again that gray subway tile all the way around looking good I'm liking this so far um, and like I said, this home has a lot of different features and options. You know, you can move uh, your basement placement, uh, this area right here. And if you want to know more about that, hit the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, take a look at some photos, some more videos that I did, and most importantly, you know, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. And see, look at this. I mean, in, in this pantry right here, you have nice four good wooden shelves, big heavy doors that you can, you know, shut everybody off to. And like I was saying there, I don't know if you saw the storage there on the side of the island, but it's nice. Loving that vaulted ceiling. Gives it gives this home a lot of character. So, you know, now let's go down here and let's take a look at some of the, uh, the guest areas. Um, everything is pretty much one straight row all the way down. Um, 
So let's just check this out. It's nice. It's 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 roomy down the hallway. It's not too cramped. I like that. And let's go take a look at this guest bath right here. And that is a nice look. It is a nice design. The um, the tiling is a little different. The countertop's a little different. It's a single vanity. A nice mirror there. Good lighting up top. And um, this one actually has an oversized tub. This is really cool. Um, it's a little bigger than your natural, you know, your normal 60 by 30. And this one also comes with the elongated toilets. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but this home, the uh, the registers are in combination of floor and wall. They are not up top, but they're in the floor and in the wall, mainly in the floor. So um, just to let you know, and right here, what we have is a nice little cloak closet for the hallway area. Looking pretty nice textured wall. This is a totally tape and textured modular home built by Bonavilla. Really nice, really good. Um, we're walking into this first guest room and the guest room size here um, is 11 feet by 11 feet 7 inches. So um, it's a good uh, amount of size for your bedroom for a guest room. Uh, both of these rooms actually are, are the same size. So um, it's looking pretty good so far. What do you guys think about this home so far? Um, share your thoughts with me on the, uh, in the comments below and let's start the conversation about this. This is a really nice home, modular up in Nebraska. It's made for the cold temperature and so forth. Um, it does have some dark trim around everything. Um, some people like that dark trim off of the white, some don't. It's really nice. I kind of like it. It's kind of like a grayish tone, grayish brown tone. <coughs> <clears throat> now let's take a look at behind this door right here and this is where your basement access would be um, and like I was saying earlier if you wanted to switch this up you can actually move this to uh, somewhere in the living room um, wait until the end take a look at that floor plan click that uh, link for some information to learn all about that right there and like I said in the second guest room here the size of this one is 11 feet by 11 feet 7 inches um, pretty much a carbon copy of the other room except for the placement of your closet there nice plenty of uh, power outlets in these rooms that I have noticed and one thing of course that I appreciate is all of the closets have wooden shelving and a wooden curtain I mean curtain rod uh, a wooden uh, clothes rod which is nice I like that I like that nice size windows for each room um, it's really cool there so let's get out of this room and take a look at some of the other house here which happens to be the primary so let's go into the primary and take a look and of course I know everybody's seeing that barn door right there it's an option you can get rid of it you can keep it whatever you like now walking in here of course you see this nice little wooden accent wall I like that it's a little dark but um, depending on your lighting and where this home is I think that would be a nice accent and not a darkening you know accent uh, pretty much the size of this primary room is 15 feet 11 inches by 12 feet 3 inches um, we have our walk-in primary closet right here we're gonna walk in and take a look at and it's good plenty of space for everything she might be needing very nice very nice like I said there's that barn door you can change that um, you can add I think a, a window on the other side really cool now walking into this primary bath the first thing that I see is that subway tile all the way up to the ceiling I like that I like that and off to your left here we have a tiled shower um, really really nice good craftsmanship fiberglass bottom really nice really nice and then over here we like I said we have that subway tile we have a dark uh, countertop for that dual vanity nice mirrors it's kind of like a darkish tone on that light gray which is kind of cool we have can lighting all over the place and the minimum height of these the ceiling or these walls is eight feet it's eight feet but they are vaulted so you know they get a little higher in the middle so going through here we're gonna take a look at the uh, rest of this bathroom or restroom and take a look at some more linen storage right here more than ample room for everything I would have to say and then there is that soaker tub that's just off by its own little lonesome you can kind of just leave everything and just hang out there for a bit and then right next door is where 
your toilet is behind the door. Nice little bit of privacy. That is a nice soaker tub. You know, one thing that I've been seeing on, on, on the channel is, you know, a lot of people say, that, you know, masters or primaries should have, um, you know, soaker tubs. And, and some people say not. What are your thoughts? What do you want to see out of your primary bath? What is your ideal primary bath? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, this is a nice little home. I'm digging everything that I've seen so far, and I hope, you know, you have too. This is just a really cool house and if, if if you haven't had a chance yet you know hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell that way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted you'll be able to follow along on this journey of mine because i go everywhere to take these you know home tours and it's really fun so you know come along come along and now of course as you see we are in the utility room mud room laundry room there's your air conditioner nice texture on that wall Makes it feel really, you know, uh, residential, to be quite honest with you. And right across from that, you have your 40 gallon water heater. Real easy, you know, to get to, great access right there. It makes complete sense. And um, this is where the other side of that pantry is. That's a walkthrough pantry off to the utility room. So it's really cool, really nice. And there it is, everybody. That is a Glenwood Excel built by Bonavilla. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this home tour. I enjoyed walking through it and checking this one out. And I hope to see you again on the next home tour, um, wherever I will be heading off to. But until then, I hope you live smarter, choose manufactured, have wonderful days, and travel easy. See you at the next one.